I'm really bad at vlogging. I've been at work all day to be fair and because it's the weekend and I work in a bar, then obviously my busiest time of the week is the weekend. But it is now about half 11 and I just got home from my Saturday night shift. It's like everyone was in really like a party atmosphere. I don't know what it is about, I mean it's Saturday obviously, but like people were dancing, ordering loads of cocktails. Like I feel like I've been out on the town myself, do you know? <laughs> I literally feel like I've been on a night out. I'm not even tired, even though I've been at work since 12.45 this morning because, you know, I'm full of adrenaline. But I guess, I mean, I'll be tired probably in half an hour. I've just got tomorrow to work and then I've got Monday off. Oh, I love my Mondays off because after a busy weekend, like, I just get, I, I kind of crash on the Monday. But I've got stuff to do in that day. I really want to be productive. I'm going to get pyjama now and like wind down and I've got a few chores to do like put my washing away like fold my washing um and recently I got an electric blanket um so I've been enjoying the ritual of turning that on when I get in because then when it's time to get into bed oh it's like so toasty and right now I'm sat in front of my little electric fire I'm just debating whether I should have a cup of tea like I, lo I love tea and I like the comfort of tea but I probably shouldn't have a tea because it'll probably keep me up although Oh, oh my god, I can't even, I can't breathe right now. I've got so much to say. Um, yeah. Sunday morning and I am really tired today. This weekend has been a lot. I've really not slept well in the past few days and I don't know why. Last night was like a terrible night's sleep for me. I was up and for half the night just like, oh, checking the time. Thinking, I wish it was morning. And I've got my cuppa, so I'm hoping from here on in, it'll be a good day. If I didn't have a cup of tea, it would be a bad day. In my experience, every time I've not had a cup of tea in the morning, it's like getting out on the wrong side of the bed. Oh, I've got this, um, I've got this electric blanket on this bed and it's honestly a game changer. Like I feel that every time I get into bed at night, I'm like, oh, it's yes, so cozy. And then in the morning, it just kind of retains this like, because I put it on three to heat it up and then one throughout the night. Oh, and it's time for work again. Like, I always find Sundays really hard because you've had such a like busy, long weekend and it's been non-stop and a bit crazy and party, like, um, and the hours are long. And then it gets to Sunday and it's like one till eight. The atmosphere is just a bit more laid back, but it's still busy. And we've got half the amount of staff on we have two on instead of four and it just it's consistent it's never like like dead um and we've also got cheese board and things to think about like that and also the people that come in on a sunday are like people are like regulars that you would always have a chat with so it's like socially exhausting a little bit um not in a bad way but it's just it's like oh, you know hello how are you what's new you know <laughs> I keep getting told off for saying what's new. I always say it, but it's true. Like, what else do I say? Like, I don't want to talk about me, and I don't know the specifics of their life, so I just say what's new. But I keep repeating myself, and people's like, no. People are like, no, nothing's new. Stop asking. Why is there nothing new? Do something new then. If there's nothing new, do something new. And then you'll have something to talk about. I'm gonna drink this tea and and then get up and get ready. Okay, so my hair and makeup is done for the day. And then recently I've been doing my hair differently. Um, I've been loving like the 60s kind of style. I, I recently cut my hair because it was just dead on the ends. And I just thought it goes really well with this like little half up, half down and little curly fringe. I use a straightener um, to kind of do my fringe bits. And like I did 
the rest of my hair like the other day, but it lasts, you see. So now I'm gonna go get dressed. So I just got home. It's 8.39 <sighs> and tomorrow's my day off so I'm really excited for that because I need to like, have some me time. And it gets to Monday and I'm like oh, I just need to like just be by myself. Oh, I just found my tips in my pocket. We did really well in tips today. Um, we haven't done great lately because after lockdown we had table service so people tipped a lot more because obviously it's, you know, rude not to I guess if people are serving to your table. And then they've gone down really ever since because <laughs> um, we're back to bar service. But that money like goes, I don't think people realise like how much like that means because it, you know, anytime I want to go out for a coffee and meet a friend or like have a brunch, like it comes out of that, you know, and it, it means that I don't have to like think about the money or like dip into my savings because, you know, this is money that I didn't account for, so. It's actually really helpful. <laughs> I like to, every time I come home, I go to my little fireplace and I turn it on. And I sit by it for like, like two minutes <laughs> and just relax. <laughs> um, take my jewelry off, that's what I do. And um, get my evening started. It's about me now, it's not about serving people anymore. So tomorrow is my day off and I've got no plans yet. I probably shouldn't make any plans because I've actually got stuff to do um, that I could be getting on with. But on my days off I do like to get out of the house at least for a little bit. Um, but lately obviously I've been going to the gym at the moment. I signed up about a month ago and I've been going every day, well five days a week. I go Monday to Friday because Saturdays and Sundays I work heavy and I'm doing like an 11 hour shift and I don't want to be doing a gym as well. Um, so my two rest days are Saturday and Sunday, which means on my days off I do go out to the gym. I can't wait to get into my pyjamas right now, that's how I feel. Forget about the world, forget about work. Mm -hmm. 